guy doing? He's in the mud. No way. He ran aground. Holy sh Welcome back to our New York to North Carolina boat trip series. In our last episode, we were at Coin Jock Marina in North Carolina. Got some rest for the evening, had a wonderful meal, and got ready for our next leg of the trip that was going to take us to Beaufort, North Carolina. Heading out from Coin Jock. We got a line of boats ahead of us that just pulled out all the same time. A little foggy out there. Our trip today was going to be an exhaustive 155 miles from Coin Jock, North Carolina to Beaufort, North Carolina, through the Albemarle Sound and the Pamlico Sound. <laughs> we built a lot of memories, haven't we? There we have. Had time for friends and family. We passed a number of fishing trawlers as we traveled the sounds, many of them dragging nets and zigzagging across our bow. The biggest danger wasn't watching out for other ships, but for watching out for the countless crab pots that were strewn about as we crossed the bay. You had to really keep a good eye out for them because they were very hard to see. After clearing Palmico Sound, we traveled up the Noose River and on our way to Adams Creek Canal. Even though it was quite windy, we could definitely tell we were moving south. It was warm enough to open up the canvas and enjoy the nice breeze. At one point, we had schools of dolphin diving right under the bow of the boat. Nearing the end of the Adams Creek Canal, we pass the infamous Jarrett Boat Works, where the Miss Meg will be going for some routine work shortly after our trip. It looked like this monster just had some work done at Jarrett and the boat was out for a test run, doing loops back and forth in the canal. As you near Moorhead City, you need to be exactly sure where those channels go. There's a lot of sandbars and islands that are intersected with these various canals. So, 583 miles from Shady. Yeah, I mean, we got one more right. mile to go. But Seven yeah. hours running time. Our journey was coming to an end. Nearly 600 miles traveled from New York to Beaufort, North Carolina, 70 hours of running time, and who knows how many gallons of diesel. What's this guy doing? He's in the mud. No way. He ran aground. 
Low tide. Yeah, he's listing. He's trying to power through it. Jeez. Docking was thankfully uneventful. It was time to sit back and relax for a little bit with the docking beer and watch others dock their boat. knows what he's doing except he's got no fenders on that side it was my first time visiting the town of Beaufort and it sure looked like it had a lot to do right at the top of the docks was a bar and a restaurant and there were plenty of shops within walking distance right across the street There was a large mooring field directly across from the marina, and we were able to watch the boats go back and forth looking for an anchor spot. Throughout the marina, past travelers and visitors had taken their stickers and posted them on the various pilings and dock walls. This one here I recognized, a bored mermaid monster, a fellow YouTuber. After a long day, we were rewarded with a beautiful North Carolina sunset. Red skies at night, sailors delight. The shenanigans continued into the evening where we came across the elusive six foot man-eating duck. There we go. <laughs> there it, the six foot man-eating duck. <laughs> We visited one of the numerous top-notch restaurants in the area, and we were not disappointed. I like it. Yeah, we'll start our diet next week. Yeah. Oh nice. I mean, like, I mean, I mean we had a lot of reason to celebrate, kick back and relax for a little bit. It was a long journey, but luckily, no issues. That's pretty good for a 600-mile journey on a boat. I don't believe you. Can you take me? After a well-welcomed sleeping in morning, it was time to check out the rest of the Beaufort town docks. Our time in Beaufort was short-lived. The following morning, 
we needed to pack up again and head the boat over to Jarrett Boatworks to get the routine maintenance done on the Miss Meg. It was sad to see the Miss Meg pulling out of the water after being our home for the past five days or so. But it was time to move on. We had flights to catch and work to get back to. Over 600 miles traveled through 70 hours of motor time. I'd like to thank Captain Scott, Captain Darren, and our entertainment coordinator, Paulie, for taking me along. Learned a lot on this trip, and I hope to be making a similar trip this year. But that's a story for another day. So thanks for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this series, and please like and subscribe. We hope to see you next time. Until then, enjoy some of the entertainment we got to enjoy that night when we went over to Newburgh.